know, as a parent, uh, you know what it's like to want to be able to fix everything for your child. Uh, they hurt, well, you hurt. They've got a need, you want to be able to fill that need. Yeah, we, we both know that yeah. as parents. So when one of our next guests broke down when he told us his daughter is in a life or death situation that he can't fix, we decided to bring it to you, Del Marva. And we'd like to introduce you to Danny Harrison of St. Michael's and his daughter, Laura Harrison English of Dover. Thank you both for being here. Thank you for having us. Good afternoon. Okay, Laura, I want to start with you. You're obviously in a desperate search for a kidney. And this is related to problems you've had ever since you were a child? Yeah, I was um, almost seven when I found out I was diabetic. And just over the years with diabetes, you know, attacking my body, it's the silent killer, as you know. Um, and then some high blood pressure and, and things of that nature. It's just kind of taken a toll on me at a really young age. And I have about 10% kidney function left. Goodness gracious. And yeah. function's been going down over the years. It's a, an absolute decline, yeah. I'm yeah. in a desperate need at the moment. Okay. So right. you recognize that... I mean, at this point, this is a life or death situation. It is a life or death situation. I'm kind of at the end, you know, of, of what, I, what I need at, at the moment. It's, it's, I'm a desperate need. There's, it's, it's critical. Mm -hmm. There's no other way that I can put it to you. Yeah. It's absolutely critical. I need it to survive. All right. So, Danny, Dad, you're doing anything and everything you can to make something happen yes, sir. here. Yes, what, sir. What's this been like for you? Well, you kind of hit the nail on the head. As a dad, you, you want to be able to fix things for your children, and uh, this is something I can't fix. Yeah. And she grew up at an early age because she had to be able to administer her insulin. Right. And a lot of things that other kids were doing that she couldn't participate in, and uh, the food and everything. You can tell I like my groceries. <laughs> but, uh, I, uh, I've just watched her not be able to do a lot of things that her peers were doing and participate in a lot of things that they were doing. And right now, they're talking she, if she would have to go on dialysis if she doesn't get any more um, a kidney transplant. Right. So we're just we're just hoping and praying that there's someone out there that might be willing to fill out a paper just to see if they're even compatible. And even you as dad are not a match. That. No, uh, her mom and I, due to health conditions and or age, ah, okay. uh, we're not a match. So that's why we're we're reaching out to uh, see uh, if if somebody might be laid on their heart to right. to help her out. And it's it, and and you're not just thinking about her, you're thinking of your grandson because you you're a mother as well, right? That's right. I have a 10-year-old. He's going to be 11 in March. How's he with all of this? He's struggling with it because you know, it's it's just him and I. Um, and we're very very close. We always have been. And his biggest thing is, "Mom, are you going to be okay? Are you going to die? Mom, are you going to be okay?" And as a mother, those are some big questions to ask. He's the love of my life. He's my miracle. And watching him ask me that, of course I'm going to say yes. Yes, I'm fine. I am. I'm, I'm going to always be here. But am I? Am I going to watch my child grow up? Am I going to watch him get married, graduate, have you know, children of his own? I don't know. What kind of timeline are we looking at here? We're looking at a right now situation. I need it. I need it now. As soon as someone, you know, can get tested and get through everything, because it does. The process is, you know, a, a bit lengthy. Mm -hmm. They've got to make sure that you, as a person who's willing to donate, you're also healthy and that you're never going to need this kidney again. So, it's a right now thing. That could take a little bit, you know. So, it's now. There okay. is no waiting on it. I'm constantly at UPenn, constantly getting tests. You know, getting blood work, making sure I'm doing everything I need to do. And then the donor does everything that they need to do. Okay, so so what can we do? What is it you're asking? How Basically, what I'm asking is anyone, anyone who who is willing to get tested to even see if they're a match is all I'm looking for right now. I know it's a big thing to ask. This isn't something small. This isn't saying, hey, can I borrow a cup of sugar? This is me asking you to uh, to give me an organ, and that is huge. And I know that, um, but I know there are a lot of great people out here. 
this is a big community and I know we all pull together you know for each other mm -hmm. and so I know that someone I got I just know in my heart that the right. Lord will lead someone to me and, and, and getting tested to see if you are a match is as simple as just getting It's very blood. simple. So all you have to do is fill out a couple of pieces of paper. You either email or fax or whatever the case may be, send those in. They'll take, the team will take a look at it. They'll make sure it's okay. And then they'll go from the next step. They'll do blood work. And then they'll either tell you, yes, you look like someone that, you know, you could go a little farther or no, I don't think it's going to work right now. Well, and, and we had uh, a couple of people on not long ago. One was uh, the donor and, mm -hmm. and the other one had received. Y you can easily live with just one kidney uh, yep. and do just fine. So yeah. if you turn out to be a donor, it's one of the most incredible things you will ever experience that you will never forget for the rest of your life and neither will she. Absolutely. Amen. Yeah. Well, Danny and Laura, thank you so much for coming on. And we hope somebody out there hears this. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Keep our fingers crossed. <laughs> Thank you. And of I course, really we're going to have more me. information about how you can get tested and, and more on this story on our website, delmarvalife.com. Great. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. For, I'd like to thank you guys and WBOC for having us on and being able to share my daughter's story. Our pleasure. Of course. Thank you.